be okay salam alaikum actually um, today look I'm not expert expert in this like that new course something or CMS or whatever installation shit I'm just a beginner and uh, I had a problem but actually I found like a lot of people over and they got the same problem and uh, I was like completely desperate uh, to solve it because I tried so many stuff and like I don't know out of out of out of nothing I tried this uh, little trick and it works actually it works so I got the installation of .NET Nuke 7 so first of all I followed this uh, tutorial a very good one like uh, from this guy here I don't know what's his name yeah. Dev Church all right these guys here they show you uh, like an installation the video called .NET Nuke tutorial how to install .NET Nuke DNN 7 and I kind of follow it and uh, right about after uh, at five uh, ten seconds whatever minutes ten seconds whatever he actually launches the website so it, it, it did launch in his case but in mine it didn't and I had this uh, mis th this error wait hold on where is it it's right here yeah I had like this HTTP error 500.19 and it says like internal server error here you go this is the it says it cannot access uh, for permission whatever some problem like that and I actually I've been digging around trying to figure it out here's the error <coughs> sorry anyway I was like kind of desperate trying anything and everything and accidentally I did it I found the solution and uh, I just wanted to share it again I'm, I'm, I'm no expert maybe this can cause you to be hacked or something so I've been doing a lot of shit what the hell is that no thank you Anyway, there's this guy, uh, wait, hold on, yeah, there's this guy, uh, here you go, this current whatever guy, he just talked about something, network services, that you gotta enable the permission, anyway, the idea is that uh, in a CMS there are services that are running your shit, running the files of the, the, .NET, the .NET new files you just downloaded, so actually once you download the install pack from .NET Nuke website and you put them like in sort of folder here, so it's gonna be like your website folder. Actually, they need permission to can like access this. It's just not like you copy, you paste, and then you go on. No, actually, you gotta you gotta give those guys uh, the processes. Uh, you gotta give them permission to enter those folders and like change and stuff. So actually, here's how it goes. Actually, you go like property here right here and you got security all right and basically there are two things i didn't find there's network services and this guy here iis uh whatever is users or something i don't know it's one of those guys who's doing the trick i'm not sure because i started like adding stuff so basically here where you go basically if you don't find those you go to advanced and uh no no not advanced actually you go to edit first and here you're gonna go to yeah what did i have find that no wait oh yeah that was advanced and like change shit i completely forget where i found it <laughs> i this is so funny i think it's edit and then ah oh, add yeah, yeah 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 now i remember like i went here and basically at first at first yeah, I didn't have this one and this one so I had to find them first so I would go like add and then I went to advance and then I made like find now it's like some sort of search of every possible uh, name or something and right here I did find you press N here's network services is the first one you're gonna add and the same way you're gonna add like IIS IU user whatever they say don't add this one add this one all right so you're gonna do like okay and when you can do okay like it, it's gonna pop up in, in this list and when you select it you allow it here you click like allow I mean I allow it to modify read whatever do all his business and you press okay then you press double okay you add this one first and then this one and you go like okay okay <coughs> sorry again and uh, it start applying there's also a little trick that you absolutely have to do like you're gonna tell this guy like I'm gonna give permission to that folder and everything included inside it so first you gotta go to advanced I think yeah 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 once, once you do that you go like include inheritable permission to the 
No. Yeah. That's one. You gotta check this one. Like replace all child object permission with the inherited permission of the object. Means like every folder included in that folder or file or whatever will just get inherit the same uh, configuration you just did. So you gotta like do that right here and 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 and, and check this one like that. And you go like okay. And you go like okay. Yeah, do that. Definitely. So it would take a while. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm sick. Anyway, I was gonna give it the permission, and then you go like, okay, and and it did work actually. Here you go. Here's the installation of the new. Once you just go to your local holes, start your website, you will find out that it did actually work. So again, I'm no expert. I was just like trying to hack my way in, and it worked. If you wanna do it, do it. Just 